Last Friday, the once jovial and cheerful halls of Walsh Jesuit were covered by a gloom of sadness as the students and faculty alike reacted to the fact that senior Ryan Jarbo had died, exploding from too much happiness. What follows is an interview with those students and faculty on Ryan Jarbo, the man. something that terrible happened to him so early in life. I mean, he had everything going for him. He was an A1 student. He was a student athlete extraordinaire. I mean, he lettered in 12 sports, I think it was, at last count. See, now some people think it's a crime that Ryan Jarba blew up, but he was a menace to the school. He abused people. He hurt people. Who needs him? He's better out of our lives. I'm glad Jarbo, Jarbo, wherever. We're glad he's gone. What are you sad about? Man, the ladies there. Oh, no, man, he's cool. Oh, no, he's not. He's not cool. Ryan is not cool. One of my best friends here at Walsh. It's hard to believe that he is gone and the way he went. Want too much happiness. I believe in natural highs. So this, to me, is a natural high, and I think it's great. Now, of course, maybe you don't want that to happen to everybody because we lose our tuition money, but I really think it's a marvelous thing, and I hope more students can explode from happiness in the future. Uh, he has had a lot of energy and all, uh, but uh, I find it hard to believe he's grown up. I've made other people grow up. A friend of mine and Frankly, I'm sorry to hear about what happened, and right now it's just a shock. Uh, you know, he was always lifting us up in the uh, homeroom, and I'm going to miss that. Uh, on the other hand, he was a loud mouth, and uh, it's good to see that he's gone. We were fourth into glory last Friday night, breaking forth of so much happiness. The way he lived his whole life, you know what Ryan was like. I think that Ryan will recover. Stupid. Ryan can't recover. He exploded. The man's dead, and I don't think it's funny at all. His silly commentary trying to make fun of the whole thing. Ryan and I were very close. We had a good friend, a mutual friend, Bob. Bob Shapley, you know him. Pretty cool guy. I'm really going to miss him, you know. I, my condolences to his family, you know, his mother's a kind, caring Christian individual. I just spoke to her frequently on the phone. She's, you know, pretty torn up about all this. You know, she did get a prelude out of it, but life goes on. <laughs> with a lot of people. I was just talking to him the other day and uh, shared a few things with me that made my day, brought happiness to my life. It's a shame that he's not going to be able to spread that. Brian was a good friend of mine. It hurt to lose him like this. I just can't go. I knew what happened to him Sunday. You get that stuff off the streets. Too much happiness is good for no one. Last week, because he lived life so intensely, he gave so much to life, he put himself into everything all the way that Ryan never did anything 10%, always 120%. And this is what I have left of Ryan. Our blood exploded from, uh, I guess, too much happiness. Uh, I never knew Ryan Turbo. I suppose if I did, I'd, I'd be as happy for him as maybe some of the people are now that he's gone. On the other hand, since I don't know Ryan Jarbo, I, I'm just sad. Just sad at what I don't know and what I haven't learned. That's that's all I can say. I'm, this is a very emotional time. Could you could you leave now, please? <laughs> Ryan Jarbo blew up from happiness? Nah. Pee Wee Herman maybe, but not Ryan. Uh, 
death of senior Ryan Jarba was indeed a great tragedy, but in this time of turmoil and uncertainty, one thing indeed is certain, that Ryan Jarba will live on in the hearts and memories of those who knew him so well.